Okay, hi. Uh, we are now going to proceed on to more difficult instances of uh, when you use completing the square. Um, if you want a complete explanation of completing the square, I really strongly suggest you look at our first video. This is the second one. All right, suppose I have x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0, and I am going to solve that by completing the square. The first step is to move the constant term over to the other side, to the right-hand side. That will give me x squared plus 5x equals 3. Now I'm ready to complete the square. Plus, my b number is 5, I multiply it by 1 half, and I square. Same thing over here. My b number is 5, I multiply it by 1 half, and I square. Okay, that gives me x squared plus 5x plus 5 over 2 squared equals 3 plus 5 over 2 squared. Now, remember what we did last time. The shortcut is just to write your binomial like this. I have parentheses, x plus 5 over 2, parentheses closed, squared, equals 3 plus 25 over 4. Now you can put that in your calculator and then say math frac and you'll come out with the fraction equivalent. I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way by hand. 3 is the same number as 12 over 4, right? That's just 3 plus 25 over 4 will be 37 over 4. So, parentheses, x plus 5 over 2 squared equals 37 over 4. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides of the equation. Square root of parentheses, x plus 5 over 2 squared equals plus or minus the square root of 37 over 4. Now the square root of parentheses x plus 5 over 2 parentheses close squared gives me x plus 5 over 2. Now it's liberated from the square root and from the square, because the square root and the square are inverse programs. They're inverse operations. They cancel each other out. Over here, I'm going to have plus or minus the square root of 37 over the square root of 4. And we know what the square root of 4 is. It's plus or minus the square root of 37 over 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. Now what we have is x plus 5 over 2 equals the square root of 37 over 2. Oops, and plus or minus in front. Now to solve for x, I subtract 5 over 2 from both sides of the equation, making sure that when I subtract it from the right-hand side, 
I put it in front of the plus minus sign. So I'll have x equals negative 5 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 37 over 2. And since they have the same denominator, I can write them this way. Negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 37 all over 2. Now, if you're answering in my math lab, there will be x with an answer box, and you'll answer negative 5 minus the square root of 37 over 2, comma, negative 5 plus the square root of 37 over 2. And there you have it. Okay, and there are our answers right here.